Hello and welcome! If you're watching this video, then you're about to do a series in Parallel Circuit Lab. To get started, you can go ahead and click this Lab button right here, and it'll take you to this screen. Notice on the left, you have all of these components that you can put over here to wire together into some sort of contraption that'll test out electric currents. Over here on the right, you have some values you can change, as well as these three very useful tools, which we'll look at in just a sec. To get started, let's build a very, very simple circuit. We'll need a source for electricity. We'll use this battery. We will need something to power. We'll use this light bulb. And we'll need something to connect them. We'll use some wires. In order for this to work, you need to make a circuit. So I will connect the positive end of my battery here to one side of my light bulb and the negative end to the other. For a light bulb, it doesn't matter which side is connected to which part of your battery. Here we can see the flow of electrons. If we wanted to adjust some settings here, we could click on the battery to change its voltage. The higher you go, the more light you'll get until eventually, whoa, that's a lot of light. You could click on the battery to change its resistance. The higher you go, the less light it'll output. The lower you go, the more light, until eventually you can catch your battery on fire if you go too, too low. Lastly, if you wanted to measure something about this circuit, you could use these tools. The voltmeter allows you to figure out volt voltage is present with across each component in your circuit. The right one always goes on the positive side, the black one on the negative, and they'll give you a voltage readout. Currently I have 8 volts set in my battery, so it makes sense that I would see 8 volts passing across my light bulb here. If you accidentally mess up and do these backwards, like so, you'll get a negative readout, negative 8 volts which is not a big deal. Just keep in mind that's what you did. You simply reversed where the black and the red leads should go. The ammeter over here allows you to measure current. So if I place this over one of my wires, I will find out how much current is passing through that particular spot at this time. It also works if I put it over top of a component, it'll tell me how much current it's drawing. So this light bulb is currently drawing 1.78 amps of current. I hope this has been helpful. Have a good day.